American lawmakers sent a letter to Google urging big tech company to prevent inaccurate search engine results for abortion services. Sophia and our team in the Cube have more. Sophia? Yes, Miriam. In this letter, these lawmakers urged the company to fix the search engine's display of misleading results when looking for abortion services in certain U.S. states. Now, these 20 lawmakers that include, for example, Bernie Sanders, said that this issue was especially concerning given the Supreme Court's looming decision on abortion rights in 13 trigger states. Now, if the Supreme Court overturns this law, these 13 states will criminalize access to abortion. And the issue is that in these areas, Google search results have directed people looking for abortion services to fake abortion clinics. Now, these clinics don't actually provide any abortion services to women, but they will try to dissuade you from getting an abortion. Now, the letter cited um, the findings of the Center for Countering Digital Hate, which found that one in ten Google search results in these states led its users to these anti-abortion clinics. And the number was even higher on Google Maps. One in three results led users towards these fake sites. Now we spoke to the chief executive of the center that did this report who explained to us why this was so problematic. When someone's looking for information, they, 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 may be, they may be scared, they may be vulnerable, they may be really sort of desperate for information or for abortion services, that they're actually being sent to the wrong place. They're being sent to centres where they're going to be served up ideological misinformation rather than quality healthcare, medical, scientific information. Google is there to provide information when you have a query. They're failing at their most fundamental job. So Google has already been notified of this issues numerous times since 2014. So Miriam, these lawmakers are really hoping that finally, after eight years, this might be the trigger for Google to take action and to be held accountable.